Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video and today we're going to be putting the minigun shredder build to the test in a solo run against Appalachia's notorious world boss Earl Williams. So without any further ado, let's dive right on in. So before we head on over and check out the run, which is of course the main thing you want to see, I'm going to quickly run through the build and the buffs that I was using during this solo run. With the build, we're mainly using the Minigun Shredder build I used last week during the Minigun Shredder Showcase. So if you'd like to check that video out and get a rundown of everything you need to know, you can click on the link on the top right hand corner of the screen. However, the only tweaks I made to the build with this run was the addition of the Chem Fiend perk card, so the chems last 30% longer. And with that being included, the chem buffs that we will be using will be Psycho Buff, so we gain an additional 25% extra damage and an extra plus 3 to our strength. And as I mentioned in that Minigun Shredder video, the higher your strength, the more damage you'll be dealing with the Shredder. And remember, the key to this build is strength and also AP, because the Shredder will drain your AP. And the next little addition I made was the inclusion of the Action Boy perk cards. The action points regenerate 45% faster. Other than that, the build is pretty much the exact same. However, regarding the legendary perks, we've removed Electrical Absorption and replaced that with Sizzling Style. So we gain an additional 150 fire damage resistance while wearing a matching set of armor. And you'll know that if you've taken on Earl Williams, you'll know that the mine will drop fiery embers. So pretty much having that resistance and especially being up close and personal with Earl will really help out in a big way which you will see very shortly. Now, on to the buffs. So, with the buffs, and as I previously mentioned, we're using Psycho Buff for that 25% extra damage increase, an additional plus 3 to our strength. The Strength Bobblehead, so we gain an additional plus 2 to our strength. Corn Soup for an additional plus 6 to our AP regen. Sweet Rolls for an additional plus 12 to our AP and plus 3 to our Charisma. The Magazine Tales from the West Virginian Hills, which gives us an additional plus 15 damage against Windigos, which will help out in a big time against the Windigo spawns, which you will see very shortly. And to answer the question that some may be having, regarding this, I'm not 100% sure whether this affects Earl Williams or not. However, when I was testing it without the magazine proct, I seem to be doing a little bit more damage than normal, but I can't say for sure if that was actually related to the magazine. We're also utilizing the weight bench buff, which will grant us an additional plus two to our strength for 30 minutes. And lastly, to help with our AP regen, we'll be using canned coffee. And the star of today's show will be our anti-armor with bashing damage increased by 50% with plus 250 damage resistance while reloading minigun. Now, over to the run. So here we go folks, the minigun shredder build versus Earl Williams. Now the only thing I will mention that I didn't use during this run, which I will be using next time, is liquid courage. Because without it, it does get a tiny bit frustrating when Earl screams and you run away. But don't worry, I will remember for next time. But anyway, the timer won't start until we've made first initial contact with him. So yeah, enjoy the footage folks.
And before we wrap things up for today, I want to give a special mention to an incredible charity initiative we're supporting during the month of May. This month, we're going to be working in association with Fall Out for Hope in support of Wes Johnson's Alzheimer's Association charity campaign. The Alzheimer's Association leads the way to end Alzheimer's and all other dementia by accelerating global research, driving risk reduction and early detection, and also maximizing quality care and support. During this month, myself and many others will be actively campaigning and raising funds for this incredible charity and we're calling on others who would like to take part and help raise funds by heading over and signing up at falloutforhope.com forward slash join. Whether you stream, create content in other ways, your support will go a very long way. So if you'd like to take part, I'll leave a link in a pinned comment below. If you'd also like to donate and help our efforts, you can head over to my Tiltify donation link and donate as much as you'd like to. And again, a link will be made available below. My own personal goal and one I'd love to reach during our efforts is $1,000. But whatever we can reach, as a community will be greatly appreciated and will go a very long way in helping the lives of others. And there you have it, the Minigun Shredder versus Earl Williams. Let me know below in the comments what you thought about today's solo run, and if you want to be kept up to date with everything Fallout related, consider clicking that subscribe button and turning on that bell notification button, and if you enjoyed today's video, consider dropping a like. And before we head on out, I want to say a big thank you to our channel members for your continued support and dedication to the channel, and of course to all of our subscribers who've helped the channel to grow. If you're also looking at picking up some Bethesda theme items over on the Bethesda store, you can use my creator code BTPINEAPPLE0 054 to receive 20% off of your purchases at checkout. And if you'd like to support the channel a little bit more personally, consider checking out my merch store, which has an array of t-shirts, mugs, prints, and other pineapple themed merch, which I'll leave in a link in the description of this video. And lastly, to you, the viewer, the person who stumbled upon this video, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, Vault Dwellers, stay safe out there in the wasteland. Welcome to Vault 93, and I'll catch you all in the next video.